Welcome back to my channel. I figured we'd have a little bit of fun since I am going through my dollhouse miniature boxes and unboxing things and finding things I've completely found out that I've completely found out, completely forgotten about. And um, this is a box. And I said, I started to open it like this. And I said, you know what? Let me do a video and show you guys what's in this box. I have no clue. No clue what's in this box, what I placed in there. This box has been packed for over uh six years about six years maybe seven so let's go ahead and take a peek at what i put into this box as i have no clue no idea okay so the first thing that i see here is a dollhouse miniature hat box beautiful hat box made out of paper but inside there is a lovely oh they're so pretty okay these are supposed to be like candlesticks candlesticks so that's what's in there inside this really pretty hat box made out of paper beautiful then i have anything raggedy and andy i absolutely adore Here's a little Raggedy and Andy picture. Here's another one. Then, um, ooh, gotta be careful. Look, look at that. It's like a little miniature knitting work. Then it looks like a little paper cutout. Oh, it was a thank you. Somebody tell me they made something for me. And then there's a cute little Raggedy Ann. All right, and then this. It's like a little Christmas one. Um, these are the little pillows I remember I bought from Michael's that came in a package of four several years ago. And they were by Joe Lee's. So I picked up several. Um, here's a bracelet that I'm going to throw away. It's falling apart. I don't need that. Uh, oh, look, a little sleeping bag. How cute is that? All right. And then we have this. I guess I cut that out and kept it. It feels like I decoupaged it. I don't know if I'll do anything with that though. Here's a little welcome mat that somebody made for me. Their name is in the back. I'm not going to show you their information. It has their address too, but they made me a little welcome mat. Here's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful uh, curtain. Beautiful. Can I put that here? And here's a little southwestern type of rug. Then we have some clothes somebody made these i didn't make these somebody else made these by hand beautiful rug um what's this oh here's like a little cape this is going to be perfect for my halloween it's like a cape for the halloween oh look at this snowman it's so cute okay that's gonna be christmas what is this oh my gosh no oh it's getting stuck ah no okay somebody made this raggedy ann how beautiful she is god i love anything raggedy ann then they made a little and look she got stuck there i'm gonna have to paint that red but that was a little shelf here's a little hat someone made how charming I don't know. This is just fabric. I might be able to just get rid of that. I'm trying to, I'm telling, I'm trying to downgrade like little kitchen towels, little table runner. I think I made that. And that was out of just a ribbon and I just, you know, pulled the string so it would have that look. I would go into kitchen. Here's some little cute pillows. Then, um, we have another beautiful curtain. Look at that. And here's another really pretty curtain in pink then you know put these right there then we have a look at that it looks like it um an animal uh rug then here's a little dress here's a dress somebody made that here's a pillow a little round for a bed I have a longer one. 
And then, I don't know why I have this in here. The boys would love to play with that. And here's a little teddy bear. This is really out of scale. I'll let the boys play with that. Um, oh, more Raggedy Ann Andy items. Here we go. Look at that guy. Look at him. And then here's a little Raggedy Ann, a little tiny one. That's plastic. And here's another curtain. Obviously, I have to clean all this. Beautiful. Probably have to try to try to steam it or something um, to fix the lace in the center. Um, what do we have here? Another beautiful little rug. And then uh, here's some lace I can actually use for either clothing or a curtain. And then here's a cute little hanger, satin hanger. What else do we have here? We have a little plant. Then we have this Raggedy Ann doll. It is missing its hair. <laughs> if I could figure out how to put hair on her, she would look adorable. Uh, here's a little shelf with a whole bunch of Barbie boxes in there. And uh, yeah, the Barbie boxes and all of it comes out. There's even some pictures in there with pictures. Uh, let me see if I can put a little Barbie box. Okay. Then what else do we have? We have um, Anything Goes. That's a kit. Then here's another kit with instructions. I'm putting all my kits together in one bag. Thanks for me to make. And here's another, like there's even like, ugh, dead bugs. You know, the kind of, okay, there we go. I took it off, I think. Is there another one? You guys, this has been put away for a very long time. Like I said, um, in storage units and what have you. And you know, you know how that is. I can't even see. Let me bang this out just a little bit more here in my bag. I think that might be a little. But here it is. You know how that is um, when you put stuff away for a long time. Like this one, you could tell it got damaged. Looks like humidity got to it. Or the glue. But it did look like that. See how it turned? I wonder if I can save it by just taking this top off. And maybe keeping the top as a pattern to make other toppers because I like this topper. I'll figure out how to try to save this. Then here's a little carpet someone made with Raggedy Ann. They put little felt on it. Here's a picture. <laughs> that's a picture of my mom and my oldest son. That's a very long time ago. My oldest son is 27. He's going to be 28. So that was... My oldest son, when he was little. That's how old. Cute. That's no presents. This little miniature pool toy here. Um, little boxes. Little patterns. A little book. A little horse. A little vase. A little tiny horsey. A little toy horsey. Um, Here's a really pretty flower. Uh, here's some food. Very pretty. And then these are cigars. And you know, if you guys enjoy these type of videos, just finding things along with me, I'll do some more of these for you guys. Because uh, I have several things that I need to undo. Uh, look at those. Aren't they beautiful? And uh, here's a little box, like a little shoe box almost. And this made on paper. I think I made this one. I made that one. It's probably from a printable from online that was free. And that's pretty much it. Well, looks like that was a shelf, like for a wall. You put it that way, you put things on top. I would have to paint it. And this should belong to something. And then a little can of food. Pet. Pet milk actually <laughs> and that is it for this particular box and some little hangers i hope you guys enjoyed it um i sure did 
let me know down below if you would like to continue to see these type of unboxings of things that I'm finding as I am going through my containers. And I have a lot of containers to go through so I can continue to do these for you. So thank you so much for coming by and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.